1959, It's Not Her Sin, by director Shin Sang Ok, was released in South Korea. The film concerns two sisters. The younger sister, Young Suk, played by Choi Eun Hee, becomes pregnant out of wedlock. Her married but infertile older sister, Sung Hee, played by Ju Jung Nyo, conceives a plan to which Young Suk readily agrees. The sisters go away discreetly together to a private clinic for several months while Sung Hee's husband is away on an extended trip. Young Suk gives birth. On re-entering society, the sisters let it be known that Sung Hee is the child's mother. Young Suk has a change of heart and wants to reclaim the child, threatening to reveal the truth to Sung Hee's husband. Desperate to prevent this from happening, Sung Hee shoots Young Suk, who survives and, during the subsequent police investigation, discloses the entire story. In the main titles of It's Not Her Sin, Gina Kaus is credited for the original story. Gina Kaus was an Austrian Jewish playwright and novelist who was internationally popular in the 1920s and early 1930s. Her 1933 novel Die Schwestern Clay, The Clay Sisters, published in English translation the same year as Dark Angel, had been adapted in 1938 into a film called Conflit, directed by Leonid Mogi. It was Mogi's film, rather than Kaus's novel, that provided the basis for It's Not Her Sin. It was a common practice in post-war South Korean cinema to make unacknowledged remakes of films from other countries. In a period when Japanese cultural products were forbidden in South Korea, Korean film studios made many remakes of Japanese films, often taking as their basis screenplays that were published in Japanese magazines rather than the films themselves. Conflit was released in Japan in 1940, and it was well enough received to be ranked in seventh place in Kinema Junpo's list of the ten best foreign films of that year, so it's likely the film was also distributed in Korea. If so, Shin sang -ok might have seen it at that time. He might have also seen it in Japan in 1944 when he was studying at Tokyo Arts University. He later said that during his time in Tokyo, he watched many French films. It's Not Her Sin is a close remake of Conflit, sharing even small plot details, gestures, and dialogue with the earlier film. The ways in which It's Not Her Sin departs from Conflit are very interesting. In It's Not Her Sin, it is made clear that the heroine was adopted by her older sister, whereas in Conflit, the two sisters have the same father. Why did Shin sang -ok make this apparently pointless change? Perhaps in order to emphasize the investment of patriarchal authority in a different figure. The investigating judge in Conflit is made into a slightly ridiculous character who comes in for subtle or not-so-subtle criticism from the film. The equivalent figure in It's Not Her Sin is never comic or ridiculous, and seems not only highly competent, but rather threatening. In Conflit, the older sister's husband is an explorer. In It's Not Her Sin, he is a diplomat, charged with maintaining Korea's vital relationships with America and Europe. The shooting now occurs not at the archaeological museum, but at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Thus, the shooting has political ramifications and even potentially threatens the national project. This explains why the investigator appears so grim. In both films, the pregnant heroine briefly contemplates getting an abortion. The way in which this plan is abandoned is strikingly different in the two films. In Conflit, Claire, accompanied by her sister to the clandestine abortion clinic, spontaneously decides not to go through with the operation. And it's not her sin, Young Suk arrives for her appointment at the same time that the previous patient is leaving. The emphasis on the discomfort of this anonymous woman reveals another way in which It's Not Her Sin differs from Conflit. Sung Hee slaps Young Suk, precipitating Young Suk's flight to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In Conflit there is no slap. The fight between Claire and Catherine remains purely verbal. When the two sisters reach the husband's place of work, Young Suk stumbles painfully on the stairs, then pushes Sung Hui, who falls down the stairs. These moments of physical distress are absent from the scene in Conflit. Whereas Young Suk reacts to being shot with visible anguish, Claire appears simply to faint. The shooting, by the way, is echoed in It's Not Her Sin by another bit of gunplay that has no equivalent in Conflit.
This hint at the events that had recently devastated the entire country indicates a possible interpretation of the theme of physical suffering in It's Not Her Sin. A peak of emotionality is marked in both films by an exchange of tight close-ups as a woman embraces a child. In Conflit, it's Claire, the biological mother, who embraces the little boy. In It's Not Her Sin, the peak moment is moved to the last scene of the film when Sheik embraces Sung Hee after her long period of separation from him because of her incarceration. In Conflit, the moment of union between mother and son becomes an ideal moment, a solution on the plane of the image of a problem that cannot be solved in life. And it's not her sin, the reunion between the son and the, his foster mother, while it marks the real possibility of rebuilding the family, at the same time condemns young Suk to exile and grief. A further historical twist should be mentioned. In 1946, the American B-movie studio PRC released their own version of Gina Kaus's Die Schwester and Clay, titled Her Sister's Secret, directed by Edgar G. Ulmer. The story is now set in the United States, during and shortly after World War II. The storyline is very different from that of Conflit and It's Not Her Sin, though the essential elements remain the same. There's no reason to believe that Shin Sang-ok saw Her Sister's Secret. All three films are in implicit solidarity with the feminism, the criticism of society, and the psychological insight of Gina Kaus. Is father not?